Hi everyone, I'm James. Hello everyone, I'm Li Jian. James, I have a question for you. Do you know how people ask for direction in Chongqing? Mm, I guess Chinese people usually say northeast to south or west. Oh, sorry, I'm afraid that you're wrong. People who live in Chongqing normally say up or down or right and left. And uh, you see this path we are working on. Looks quite ordinary, but later you will get the answer why Chongqing people say this in a different way. What's special about this street? You will find this way out of the ordinary on a closer look. One end of this bridge links with Zoying Street of Jiefengbei, Yuzhong District, and the other end is the 13th floor of a residential block. This bridge has made coming and going far easier for the residents. It's also said that Chongqing has an 8D road intersection where navigation software even gets lost, the Huangzhou Wan intersection, which links traffic from eight directions on five levels with 15 ramps. People joke that a missed turn can set you on a day trip in Chongqing. Chongqing people blissfully make one's epic journeys through mountains and across rivers as they travel on a daily basis. We visited so many places and my deepest impression is the great vertical differences in Chongqing and how bridges are so important for the people here. Yeah, that's right. So today's topic is about the bridge. In order to resolve the unique topography of mountains and the rivers, the people of Chongqing have invested great efforts into transportation. And this has given the city a special name, the bridge capital. Now you mentioned the bridges of Chongqing. The oldest one is the New Jiaozuo Bridge right behind us. The Chongqing New Jiaotuo Bridge is 625 meters long. Construction began in 1958 and it was opened in 1966 as the first bridge crossing the river in the Chongqing urban area. It was also the earliest long span steel bridge designed and built in China. Chongqing became a municipality in 1997, and in the space of just 24 years, the number of bridges has rocketed from just three before that time to 30 at the present day. When you look at Greater Chongqing, there are more than 13,000 bridges. So it's no exaggeration to state that Chongqing is a real-life open exhibition for bridge construction. Thanks to the sheer number of bridges and their scale, technical standard, variety and influence, the Maoisheng Bridge Committee verified in 2005 that Chongqing is the bridge capital of China. Adrian, do you know the number and variety of bridges in Chongqing reflects the swift economic development here? Yes, that's right. But those are the bridges we just can see and there are even big ones we don't see. What do you mean by bridges we can't see? Well, let me introduce this place first. Here is a Guoyuan port in Chongqing and every day there are lots of ships arrive onto the Yangtze waterway and transfer their cargo onto trains where they can be moved to distant places. But what does that have to do with bridges? Well, let's go and find out. When ships moor at Guoyuan port, their cargo is transferred to the China Europe Railway Express and New International Land Sea Trade Corridor for shipments worldwide. The China Europe Railway Express is also known as Rishinol. It is the earliest of the two and has already operated for 10 years. The service ranks first nationwide in terms of departures and cargo value and has changed the lives of people in countries that line the train routes. Initially, we only had a one train per week, but now there are 40. The types of goods have also changed. Consumer products are still the mainstay, but many high-quality products such as computers and fashion items are now being shipped as our portfolio becomes more diverse. At present, Chongqing, 
a metropolis in the west of China, has once again put her ingenuity to full use to build a multimodal web that links water, rail, road and air transport. This has created a bridge linking China to Europe, Southeast Asia and even the world at large. And Chongqing has played an ever more important role in China's Belt and Road Initiative.